okay so next one are the local anesthetics there are two main groups of local anesthetics the esters and the amides right esters are always one eyed they always look with one eye you remember your easter party right the brocaine cocaine and benzocaine brocaine look here's the one eye cocaine and benzocaine amides are two eyed lignocaine bupivacaine and mepivacaine right and lignocaine is generally used with adrenaline to prolong its action generally in 50,000 to 2 like concentration now if that lignocaine is injected into the vessel by mistake what will be the effect now lignocaine per se is used as antiarrhythmic right but this dose of lignocaine is not enough to produce bradycardia and hypertension right right so what will take over adrenaline will produce hypertension and tachycardia that's because lignocaine is not enough to produce hypertension and bradycardia so adrenaline will take over and produce hypertension and tachycardia so beware and check that your local is not in the vessel now if that if the patient is suffering with circulatory collapse and you give lignocaine into his vessel there are high chances that he'll have brain and heart toxicity that's because the blood is perfused more there so which of the following is easter the one eyed procaine so in the circulatory failure there are high chances that you'll have brain and heart toxicity if by mistake due to adrenaline there will be hypertension and tachycardia transient bell's palsy due to mandibular nerve palsy that only happens when you are around the parotid region right that's because the five branches of parotid uh, i mean the facial nerve are from the um, substance from the parotid tuberculin affects first let me draw once again the neuromuscular junction right you remember here are the post synaptic nicotinic channels right and tuberculin comes here and blocks this postsynaptic nicotinic channel so there will be no more depolarization of muscle and you'll have muscle relaxation so this is a non depolarizing muscle relaxant cause it does not allow sodium to go in it completely blocks the postsynaptic nicotinic receptor now this tuberculin first affects the smaller muscle these are the extraocular muscle and the hand muscle and progressively this moves to hand and feet and your arm and then goes to neck and thor intercostal muscles and finally the um, the diaphragm if there is overdose and you'll suffer from respiratory failure so it starts with smaller muscles